For today's DIY, I'm going to show you two amazing ways to amp up old things and turn them into pretty new clutches. For the first one, I'm going to start with this gorgeous clutch that's made out of a spectacle box and it's perfect to carry to a wedding, party or cocktail. You're going to need a spectacle box. These are the ones that normally come with big sunglasses. Then you're going to need some satin ribbon. I'm using black. An embellishment like this one. I got this out of a earring that had broken. A pair of scissors, a stapler and a glue gun. We're going to start with the bow which we're making out of this ribbon. I'm taking about a meter and a half of ribbon. To start, make a circle like this with the edge of the ribbon on the inside. Then you want to push it down in the center and just flatten the edges out like this. Now keep making an H shape like this. And every time you make one, just flatten the edges like this. And each one has to go a little bigger than the previous one. you just want to staple all this that you've been holding together right at the center like this. Now I'm going to put the bow down here and we're going to use the embellishment and stick it right in the center of the bow. So I'm going to take the glue gun and put some glue just on top of where I put the stapler pin. About a coin size of glue. Then I'm just going to put the embellishment on and hold it down for a few seconds. So what you'll have should look like this. So now we're done with the bow. We're going to put it on the spectacle box now. You want to put it right at the center of your upper lid. So I'm going to take my glue gun and put a coin size of glue on the upper lid. And then I'm just going to take the bow and paste it there. I want to tell you guys that this glue does tend to strand a little like this. But you can take the strings off once it's dry and then it's just clean. So we're done with our clutch. You can make these in different colors to match your outfits. I'm totally in love with this clutch and I can't wait to use it. For the second DIY, I'm going to show you how you can turn this boring old clutch into something that's cool and snazzy. For this one, you're going to need a clutch, plain and preferably a little hard, some lace, ribbon, needle and thread and a glue gun. So I'm going to start by laying the lace flat on the table like this, then I'm going to take the clutch and just put it on top of the lace. You want to open the clutch so you can start by putting the lace on the inner edge like this. Now you want to take your glue gun and just run a thin line across the opening of the clutch. And just fold your lace over and stick it. Now for the edges, I'm going to take the needle and thread and just make a rough stitch along this edge. Now do the same on the other side. You want to make sure while you're doing this, you're holding all the fabric really tight across the clutch. Now, for the cover, for this lid, cut the lace close to the edges. Leave about an inch. So we're going to fold the edges in like this. So you're going to take your glue gun and do it part by part. Now for the edges, 
don't worry, we're not going to leave them like this. We're just going to snip off the extras. And now we're going to take the ribbon. Measure the size of this shorter end and just cut. Using the glue gun, just line that corner of the clutch and stick half the ribbon like widthwise on the glue. We're doing this to hide the stitched edges because we don't want any rough edges coming out. Now with your glue gun, do the same on the back. So the edges will look like this. Now like we did the edge on this side with ribbon, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So this is what it'll look like once you're done with the edges. Now for the other part of this button that's covered with lace, you just make a small snip in the lace and then tuck the fabric onto the sides. And that is actually all you have to do to make this beautiful clutch. If you like these DIYs and if you'd like to see variations of other clutches or whatever other videos you'd like to see, please write to us in the comment box below and feel free to give your feedback. Don't forget to like us on Facebook for latest updates and follow us on Instagram to see really cute bloopers and videos from Team Glamorous. Tune in next week for a new style video and until then keep watching and stay glamorous.